it's Olivia from Down to the Bean. I've just been thinking about this past year and all the ups and downs that we have gone through. And I can't help but think about how supportive you guys have all been. I get to see it firsthand at Down to the Bean. And I am so thankful and blessed that I get to call Zurich my home. Guys, the love that is pouring out of you is changing hearts, is changing the darkness that is around us. So I want to encourage you, keep pushing because you're doing amazing. And I love you. Greetings, my name is Angie Dunn, CEO at the West Huron Care Center, home of Blue Water Rest Home. Reflecting on the past year, we were forced to rethink, rework, and restructure almost every aspect of care and service delivery during the COVID-19 pandemic. You have supported our continuous changes that ensure our staff and residents are safe. You have embraced technology and everything it has to offer. You have been so generous with words of encouragement and ongoing gifts of appreciation. Zurich and area community, you give true meaning to We Are In This Together. You have helped us persevere. Thank you. And looking back when we think where we were just a year ago and where we are today, I have to give thanks to a lot of people who do, uh, did what they did because of the fact that they were concerned about others and they did and they washed and they, they masked and they distanced. All these things that made things possible to get back to some sort of normalcy. This past year, we experienced changes to our everyday lives. This required big sacrifices by everyone in our community. Blessings Store and Food Bank found this showed our ability to come together as a community and support one another in many ways. Hi there, I'm Pastor Nadine schrader Krantz, serving St. Peter's Lutheran Church here in Zurich. I've always loved how closely knit this community is. Your creativity and resourcefulness have served all ages and addressed so many personal, family, financial, social, and health needs. Zurich is a community guided by unity and by love. For that and for you, I am so very thankful. As Mayor of Blue Water, I believe one of the basic things that we learned was that food is so important. Not just produced, but also to get on your shelves. When everyone was asked to stay home, those men and women couldn't. And I think we've come to realize just how important our industry is, and from the farmer to the person that puts the bread and the food on the shelves to you. That we're a very caring community uh, in ways shown through birthday parades, uh, scavenger hunts for kids, uh, watching out for your neighbor, doing errands for them if they couldn't get out, and we've been pretty respectful of the masks, wearing masks, the numbers have been low, and uh, yeah, so we rose to the challenge and did our best. I think we've got a very caring community here. Hello, it's Marcel Jelma here, just sitting at the piano this morning. And um, thinking about in the past year, I've learned how our community is more resilient than I'd ever imagined. Uh, members of our community are stepping up and being there for each other and their neighbors, family and friends in new ways. We've had access to video calls for many years, but in the last year it's become a main way for us to see and keep up with our loved ones. As a child care director, Blue Water Rest Home board member and community member, I am proud to be a part of a community that has come together to support, encourage and draw strength from each other. From the youngest to most senior of our community, we have shown our commitment to each other through many messages of support, community initiatives, and beautiful ways of reimagining ways of being together, we engage as a community and continue to draw strength from each other. Well, here we are at the one year mark of COVID-19 in Canada. None of us, in March 2020, none of us could have imagined what this past year would have looked like. But, but here we are, we've made it. I really believe that God does his most significant work in us, shaping hope, shaping perseverance, shaping resiliency, shaping uh, us being in tune to his voice in the midst of hardship. And so I invite you to pay attention to that in this time. I'm so proud to be a member of Blue Water Municipality. I'm so proud of how you as citizens have navigated this, so proud of the various community leaders. It's been hard, but we're getting there and just a lot to be thankful for. So I just want to give a quick shout out to our community. We all know there's lots of love out there. Let's make sure we say it. I love you all and I wish you all the very best as we get through this.
All of us. Here at Blue Water. Yes, Tom. One, two. Then our community. For all their love and support. This past year. And for doing. Their part. Community safe. Although the days have turned to weeks, months, and now a year, I encourage us all to stay strong and continue to hold each other up. We may be small, but we are very mighty. Well, we're almost there. If we keep going the way we're going, we're going to make it and we're going to get back to normal. Thanks for your consideration of others. Let's do what we can. Get the shot when it's available and we'll all be back to normal before long. Guys, my word of encouragement for you is to show yourself grace. You guys are all doing incredible. Patience, endurance, strength, courage, enduring hope, and great big sloppy virtual hugs and kisses for everyone. Peace be with you. We are going to get there. At some point or another, we are gonna be more or less on the other side of this reality. You've got it, you're gonna get there. Hear me loud and clear, we are going to get there. So let's go Zurich, we can do this. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, the vaccinations are here. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be much longer. And before you know it, we'll be gathering together and shaking hands and hugging and playing soccer in the fields and fastball and we can do it, we can do it.